<clears throat> hey everybody how you doing right so um as you can see i've got the fire going we're currently at 20 degrees which is just nice um i've had a bit of a problem with my fire because um it let a lot of smoke out into me attic but then i reasoned it was probably down to the fact that i'd overloaded it with logs so far so good it seems okay right now but anyway i wanted to show you about this result that i've had so i decided that i wanted to have a drink this afternoon um so i went on just eat and i ordered a bottle of red wine to be delivered the reason why i didn't go out and get the red wine was because at the end of my street there's some work going on i you love how you doing <laughs> um there's some work going on at the end of my street and they've closed it off and there's only one way in and for me to go out i have to go out the one way which i'm allowed to do because they've closed the road off but um i don't want to sort of like you know it's a bit of a danger spot so anyway i just thought you know what just get it delivered so i went on just eat i paid 10 pound delivery for this bottle of red wine anyway when it arrived the the bag seemed so heavy like look how heavy it is and i thought that's not a bottle of wine so i looked inside and i saw the peroni so i ran back outside to the delivery driver and i said excuse me this isn't my bag um and she said oh i'm really sorry there's nothing i can do about it now that's what they've told me to deliver to you you need to go back to the shop if it's a problem i thought you know what i'll just keep what i've already got anyway i came inside <laughs> and look a bottle of bloody champagne look so what started out as a bottle of red wine has now turned into a bottle of champagne thing is i don't want to drink drink a bottle of champagne so i'll probably just have the peronis but that's it anyway in terms of videos everybody shut up bobby's got a new bed everybody um i got it from aldi it was 6.99 reduced he absolutely loves it that's his uh when he goes in what fatty anyway everyone i think as I, as it stands at the moment i think tomorrow is going to be an old video day i've not decided exactly what i want to do yet but i would welcome uh any notes what people can suggest i can do tomorrow i was thinking a couple of people have made comment recently about going back to my channel roots and doing the walk and talk and i very much fancy doing a walk and talk i was thinking of doing shaw because uh, Shaw's got a lot to shout about, you know, it's got some beautiful buildings, some great statues. Um, I also thought about doing, oh, look at you, Sarah, keep the champagne for a special occasion. That's what I'm going to do, love, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it, I can't drink that because I'll be on my about I won't become too old and swear I drink that, but, um, but yeah, um, I was thinking of doing Shaw and then someone else had said, when are you going to come to Rochdale? And I'm thinking, you know, Rochdale Town Centre absolutely needs a video. But I'm not too sure. And then I was thinking, I really want to do Huddersfield as well because Huddersfield is absolutely beautiful. And um, the train station, there's a grade one listed building. It's amazing. So let me know what you want, everybody. If you can come up with some suggestions, I'll go with what the majority think um but there'll definitely be a video tomorrow a local video either huddersfield rochdale or oldham um and that's it so show road estate okay <laughs> have you just given me your address there then i live in shaw now now having recently moved but i've got vertigo and can't get out oh that bag by the way that you see there is full of wood you know what what i've done one thing you don't know about me people is or maybe you do i don't know but I've, this wood i've chopped down a little bit more but then i've chopped it into smaller pieces because my fire really struggles to burn it when it's big logs um one of the things that i used to do i lived as an erased traveler in the 90s so i lived in a caravan for a while and i used to have to chop all my own wood and stuff so i know how to wield an axe <laughs> suppose is what i'm saying but um sorry these comments have just disappeared so yeah in the asda bag is the wood that i've just chopped outside so i'm going to get that into some sort of order soon but yeah i'm looking forward to uh just coming to oldham or huddersfield or rochdale or wherever it happens to be and just doing a video and have a walk and talk 
And uh, yeah, that's about it, everybody. Um, I'm sure I had something else to tell you, you know. And I can't think of the bloody life of me what it were. I'll, I'll remember for tomorrow anyway. So thanks for watching. Um, fat it is being a pain in the bum. What? Lift your head up. Anyway, I'm going to go, everybody. Thank you for watching. Let me know what ideas you've got for video tomorrow, what you'd like to see, and I'll definitely look to do it.